restaurant tour, Brian Moy has spent his life in the industry. I grew up in the restaurant business. I was a busboy to waiter, floor manager, and I grew up with my father's business, which was China Pearl. I always wanted to do my own quote unquote dream restaurant. And he's taken all of those years of Chinatown know-how and brought it to the suburbs at Nomai. Located at the Derby Street shops in Hingham, Nomai is a stunning spot serving unique takes on Asian classics. Brian Moy is no stranger to a restaurant opening, having created both ruckus noodles and neighborhood favorite shoujo in the heart of Boston's Chinatown. This particular concept I refer to as like the grown-up adult sexier version of shoujo. And now that I'm married and children, I like to come out with my family and we can come and enjoy some good food, still make it back home without going into the city. And the Nomai space is absolutely jaw-dropping. So what we wanted to create was a high-end, city-chic feel in the suburbs while creating that casual atmosphere. Because the name is Nomai, one of our big key design elements was to have Nomai trees inside the space. We have a bookshelf that has what we're all about, from food to fashion to drinks to culture to hip-hop and martial arts. We want people to come in as they like, really relax, where it's good quality food, good quality cocktails, and a very relaxed atmosphere. So he made an Asian-inspired menu with a little something for everybody. What we wanted to do here was make approachable Asian food with some hints of Asian elements, whether it's an ingredient, a technique. So when you look at the menu, you're gonna see recognizable lobster, salmon, oysters, but we take a fun approach with it and sneak in a little bit of Asian ingredient. After you've grabbed yourself one of Nomai's signature cocktails, an appetizer is in order. There's delicate sashimi served in a lager ponzu with watermelon radish, warm Chinese bing served with nori butter, and the option to upgrade with some caviar. And for a true taste of Chinatown in the suburbs, get the crispy calamari. Chinatown is very well known for their salt and pepper fried calamari. We use a fresh calamari. We fry it, toss it with a salt and pepper seasoning, and we incorporate some good smashed cucumbers, chili crisp in there to give it that nice balance. There's grilled sea scallop yakitori served in a yuzu beurre blanc sauce, an Asian take on a wedge salad topped with buttermilk ranch and dried miso, and the orange chicken chicken wings that are so good, they'll have you seeing double when you order them. We thought it was a typo. If you go back to your nostalgia days of Panda Express, you get orange chicken. Orange chicken is the flavor and it's a chicken wing. So we had a little bit of fun orange chicken, chicken wings. We use fresh squeezed oranges, some molasses, and we create this caramel Asian sauce that we marinated in. We fry it, it comes out crispy, crunchy, and finger licking good. The finger licking goodness continues right into the entree section with some KFC. Except at Nomai, that stands for Koji Fried Chicken, which sounds as good as it tastes. If I could make the noise, it would be like <laughs> And then all the juices ooze out. This glorious bird is coated in a fermented rice paste, battered, and fried. It comes out super crunchy and super juicy on the inside, and we top it with some ginger scallion sauce, paying homage to Chinatown's scallion ginger chicken. Seafood lovers will want to try the seared wild halibut served with rice noodles, or the luscious Maine lobster noodles featuring house-made ramen. And for some more of those carbs, there's nothing like Grandma Hua's handmade carrot noodles with beef bourguignon. It comes to me almost like a hungry man stew. You have this really tender beef, you have these broken down carrots, rich sauce, it's so hearty. You get the nice chew of the carrot ear noodles and then you get the tender beef and the tender carrots all absorbing all that great, wonderful sauce. Really a must try. And for a steak you won't soon forget, try the lemongrass filet mignon. Lemongrass filet mignon is definitely your meats and potatoes dish, but we wanted to have some fun with it. A lemongrass is going to come out sort of like this sharp, gingery, sauce, but very savory. It's delicious. At dessert, you can try the Thai tea tiramisu, an Asian twist on an Italian classic served with coconut gelato. And on the weekend, you can swing by for brunch with options like the ube coconut pancake with maple macadamia syrup and cultured butter. Ube is dark purple root vegetable, almost like a starchy potato. But when you grind it down, you can actually get a lot of flavor out of it. We like to say we paid homage to the Phantom. And for those who like the lunch side of brunch, there's the teriyaki burger. Perfect bite, nice and tender, nice and juicy. Your fingers are gonna get a little bit messy, so make sure you get your right stance. Butt out, chin out. But it really doesn't matter how you eat it because you're gonna love it at Nomai.